Hi Aquarius, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your weekly tarot check. This is for the week of May 30th through June 6th for all Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're new to the channel, welcome to you. I'm glad you're here. I post new readings every Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, you can always check back in a couple of days and watch a new reading check a different part of your chart, or even look around on Mondays because the format is different every week on Mondays. It's a different style of reading. And thanks to everybody for subscribing and hitting that like button and everything you do for the channel. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd love to invite you to join us and become a subscriber. Then you'll know when anything new is posted. All right, let's get the messages for Aquarius. Sun moon rising and venus what does aquarius need to know please all right we'll begin here with the tarot and then we'll have the angel answers oracle cards you've got the eight of wands the nine of cups the four of wands the queen of swords two of cups the Emperor, the Nine of Pentacles, like this, and the Two of Wands. This is really cool. Beautiful reading. Um, you definitely have a relationship here, and I feel like it brings your heart great joy. If you haven't met this person, they're coming in hot. I mean, there's definitely, uh, a, it's, it's, there's depth to this. There's a commitment. There's long-term stability here, and there's real love. And I feel like there's a protective element uh, around the energy I also feel like, too, for some of you in terms of career, you're moving ahead there, too. You've got both the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups, um, plus with that Four and Two of Wands. That looks really good. So you have here Fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. Of course, you've got Aries and the Emperor. And you've got um, Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Earth, and Air here. So, you know, the Eight of, of Wands is movement. This is like I say this periodically, it's being a 70s kid, kid, full tilt boogie. You know, you're moving forward here with uh, it's it's with an incredible momentum, but it's not scary. So you're definitely going to get communication in terms of a relationship. It's all about moving forward. It's somebody who's very transparent with their feelings, with their long term ideas. And, and you know, they want to build a future with you. There's no holding back here. And so, and you know, oftentimes I think of that in a relationship anyway, when one person's afraid to tell the other person because they think they're going to leave, then that's not a relationship. If you can't say how you feel because the other person's going to hit the road, I mean, that's not good. So I do look at this as a very positive indicator. It is the arrows of love in the tarot. And so if somebody wants you, Aqua, I'll say that. It's a definite connection here. And so... With the Nine of Cups, I mean, as we look at this, you've got the marriage card, wish fulfillment, and true love. I mean, you can't go wrong here. But um, with this Nine of Cups, it, it's something that really moves your heart. Your heart is full in this energy. And it may be, part of it is every area of your life is coming together, and it feels right. It feels like life is just unfolding. The path unfolds under your feet. As you go, you don't second guess. You're not so off, far off into the future. You're trying to, you know, manipulate and arrange every aspect. This is that energy of feeling easy about things. So whoever you are attracting here too, it's possible they work in hospitality in some way. They work maybe in the restaurant industry, hotel industry, or travel industry, something like that. Um, but I, I feel like this person in general is a very gracious host. They may be very good at you know, putting people up here and there and nothing crazy. It's not like, you know, they have somebody who comes and lives off of them for, you know, eight or nine months. It's more like friends from out of town come and stay or relatives. I just feel like they have this sort of open door um, policy, you know, wherever they go. They've never met a stranger, whoever this is. But I also feel like it's a real match with you too. It's also, this can be in with the Nine of Pentacles here, material gains and you have that a couple of different times here you've got material gains few several times actually as i look at this so 
anything that you're looking to buy, um, it's yours to have. So start preparation for it as if it's already here. Believe that you can have it and you will. So the Four of Wands is a marriage card. It's a commitment. And it's also a celebration. So you may find in this relationship, it's fun. There's not a lot of bickering or disagreements or the disagreements turn into, you know, just information. They're not a, they're, there's no negative, negative aspect to it, right? You can disagree without having anger and resentment. That is possible. It's unfamiliar to me, but no, I'm kidding. Um, but it, it is possible. And I do feel like it's a very good relationship in terms of, you know, changing your perspective a little bit. This frees things up. It's an open vista. It's also a card, though, of synchronicity. So you may find, especially with those two nines being here, that you have a lot of synchronicities. And they can show up in all kinds of ways, whether it's animals or, you know, maybe it's a movie that you really enjoy and you keep seeing it again and again and again. Um, you know, not necessarily seeing the same movie, but seeing references to it or a book. You see references or here's one, too. I've heard of doing this, you know, going into a library or a bookstore and opening, you know, if you're looking for a message, opening up a book and just reading the first thing your eye lands on and see if that relates. Um, that's a fun little thing to do, too. Be clear, though. Ask for guidance before you do it so that you can you get a clear answer. So the Queen of Swords shows up, and this is a card of using your intellect and great communication. So anything with work, I feel like you've got a real facility for, you know, it's your energy too. Did I mention? Yeah, I did. We talked about that. Okay. Um, it, you've got a, a gift for thinking outside of the box. You're a creator. You are somebody who, you know, you've gregarious Aquarius. You come into a room and, and the vibration raises just by being in the room and so with the queen of swords though it does give you that focus that intellectual sharpness so you may find that you have solutions that attract people too that people are looking for your advice looking to consult with you um, but i don't feel like it brings you down in any way it's not exhausting at all it just sort of sharpens that sword and allows you to move forward um, this also too allows you to cut anything out that doesn't serve you so if there's some area of your life feels more like health um, especially looking at that nine of cups because he likes to eat and drink a bit. You know, if there's something in your life you're looking to cut out, like too much sugar or something, you'll do you'll do well with this kind of energy. She doesn't miss it, you know. Um, the two of cups, we talked a little bit about a soulmate here. And it's a beautiful union. It's a beautiful relationship. And it is long term. There's, you know, a commitment here. This is each person having reciprocity. So I mentioned before, this is not one person offers the cup and the other one's running. Wouldn't that be hilarious, though, if that was on a deck of cards? <laughs> we should make one. Wouldn't that be a fun deck? <laughs> Drop your comments for other ideas. But, you know, it, it's two people that want the same thing, okay? And so I do feel like that's here for you, that you, you, you know, you give and receive. And there's a, a very nice cycle going on here. We can get into those down cycles, right? But this is a good one for you. It's also a match though at work. Again, I feel like you're in flow in many areas of your life. Um, so especially too with work where you're, it's like you just keep going and the ideas seem to come in. If there's issues that need to be resolved, they, they want to go to you and ask you what you think. And so with the emperor, you command a presence. This is the architect of the universe and it's a wealth card. It symbolizes wealth, maturity, wisdom, and and being able to guide and lead other people. Somebody here may be getting a promotion. As I pick this up and I look at all these positive aspects, this may be an indication of upwardly mobile promotion. He leads a brigade. He leads an army. And so he has absolutely no fear. It's that confidence. You exude that confidence. Um, I do see somebody tall walking into a room, and it's like whoever that is, if it's not you or it's it's someone that you're interested in, I do feel like people pay attention to that energy. There's something about it. Um, and, and or, or maybe it's just the power of the energy in general. But with this, it is also the father of the tarot. And I mentioned before, that protective energy around a relationship. It's wanting to, you know, like anything that's sort of new and fragile and beautiful, you protect, right? And so it's that kind of symbolic of protecting a relationship and making wise choices, both of you making wise choices to turn into the relationship and allow it to grow. 
right? And I don't mean that in a codependent way, but it's not, again, there's something about not running away. And I feel like that's a lot of what this represents. So the um, Nine of Pentacles, even though she's the single lady, she represents luxury. She represents attainment and wealth. And so you've got a few cards here that indicate wealth for you. And so some of this may be sort of that boss, babe, even if you're a guy, okay, you don't have to get ruffled up about it. Um, it's sort of that, you know, energy of, I think of Melrose Place, remember Amanda and the suits and everything? <laughs> um, it, she might not be quite that sharp, but I do feel like it's sort of that commanding a presence wherever you go. But there's loyal people around you too with this. I do get that. So I, I don't feel like it's, you know, quite the, you know, brass tacks kind of energy. It's There's a, a energy of community around you too. So again, I feel like you're very well received wherever you go. And the two of wands is the, you know, it's a card of success, but it's a visionary. You've got this vision for your life. Know it, know it like it's here. Feel it like it's right now. And that's how it unfolds. When you know you can have something, and I, I would I would suggest this, think about the times in your life where you know you manifested something because you knew it was here. That's all you have to do. And it's like we get back into that energy again, and here it comes again. There's there's a knowing here. So I do feel like if you're single, because the single lady card is here, you are right on the precipice of somebody here, something new coming in, because there's definitely a relationship. If it's something that you've already started, though, it's growing, you know, for sure. There's a beautiful relationship here. So I like it on all, all accounts. Every single area of this is really nice for you guys, Aquarius. And this was fun to read. I had a, I felt a very uplifted energy while I was reading this. I don't know who I'm connecting with or it's just the collective of you, but it was really fun and I appreciate that. Okay, it's fun to do this when it's in that vibration. It really feels good. So ask for help from others. So, you know, part of this is you are in charge of a lot of things that may be about delegating. Um, especially if you if that resonates with you, there may be a need to delegate a little bit, and not take on too much. Communicate clearly, okay? We talk about this a lot. The, the key are your feelings. Feelings are power, and that's what the universe communicates with. So know your feelings. Know what's going on inside of you. Forgiveness. Now, there's not a whole lot to for, forgive here other than the Queen of Swords can have a little bit of an edge. Um, but she learns from those wounds, so it's definitely not living there. So if there's something that the tarot didn't cover, they want to tell you, okay, that there's something to release in the near future. So good things are on the way for you. Now you've got to choose a new direction. And I look right at that two of wands. Sometimes the two of wands is a little bit too specific, right? He takes a look at the landscape and we have to be careful to still stay open to what the universe wants to bring in. Not the what as much as the how. How about that? So great things are on the way for you, Aquarius. I love you and I'll be back again soon.